So this is Bed Making 101, how to make the perfect bed. You're gonna start with the foundation. The bed is where we spend about a third of our lives. So it's well worth the investment to make it luxurious and comfortable and inviting. And the rule of thumb for bedding is buy the best that you can afford. Start on one side, work your way around the bed and make sure you have nice taut fit on the fitted sheet. And in terms of flat sheets, the finished side of the sheet goes facing the mattress. So when you get in the bed, it basically will envelop you. Mat lisse or a light cotton blanket is a great way to transition from season to season. So it's nice to have a variety of fabrications that you can use to make sure the bed still has a lot of interest visually and still appeals to all the senses. The finished edge faces the fitted sheet. So this is the updated version of the hospital corner. We've tucked the bottom of the bed in, pull the excess fabric to the side, take your finger and run an imaginary 45 degree angle, let the flap fall, tuck it in. Easy breezy. We are going to use our duvet cover. I just put the two corners in the top end and just shake it out and have anyone around me just step out of my way. And then we're gonna roll the extra fabric back. This time I think we're gonna do it in thirds. It just gives us a nice layer at the foot of the bed with these beautiful frette sheets. So a couple of ways to look at this. We could put, this is our pillowcase. We could stack them, put the pillowcase down first, put the decorative standard sham on top, and then put this beautiful continental square in front. People are also curious about what is the right number of pillows to put on a bed, and there is no right or wrong. It's what looks good to the eye, what feels right, <laughs> what you're willing to move at night. It makes for a very soft, inviting bed. Now we're gonna do another variety too. In this case, we're using the standard size shams in front of the bed. And there you have it. Dive on in.